Are you tired of wandering around many lands and not being able to find a single grown tree? Are you waiting for trees to grow forever but another player comes just in time and chops it off before you? Say no more to all of this because in this guide I am going to teach you everything you need to know about trees so you will know when and where to look when it comes to gathering these resources. Hello farmers, my name is Yichan and welcome to my guide on forestry skill in Pixels NFT game. This industry currently the most profitable industry in the game and to give you more context about it, it is actually 20 times more profitable than mining. Unfortunately, trees are hard to find in this game and there is a lot of competition for these resources. So in order to succeed in this race, you need to understand different cycles of the trees and how to time their growth. Additionally, there are some tools which you can check for grown trees without teleporting to a land. We will look at these and more but stay till the end because I will also show how you can triple your resource gathering from forestry if you do this business carefully. When it comes to different growth stages of the trees, there is six stages including the stomp stage of this resource type. And when it comes to timing their growth, you should definitely take advantage of these different stages. The first stage is the freshly cut stage. So when a tree cuts all the way, it ends up in this stage. It requires 15 minutes to freshly cut tree to become a small tree and an additional 2 hours for it to become a medium tree. None of these first 3 stages are choppable so you won't be able to gather any resources from these stages. In 5 hours medium trees become half grown trees. This 3 stage is actually choppable and all of the successful foresters are timing for this stage teleport to the land in that exact moment and do their chopping plus gathering business. So total Total of 7 hour 15 minutes are required for freshly cut trees to become their half grown stage which is the first choppable stage. If nobody cuts a half grown tree for 7 hours which is a big if especially for the pixel trees which are in the public NFT lands the half grown tree becomes a full grown tree. This stage is also choppable and actually provides you a little bit more resources than the half grown stage. We will look at the drop rates in more detail but before that let's take a look at the stomps stage which is the intermediate between the freshly cut trees versus half grown or full grown trees. When you first cut any of these choppable stages first time the trees become a stomp and stomps can also be cuttable further to generate more resources. This brings them back to the freshly cut stage. However there is a catch here because stomps can grow to half grown trees in 2 hour 30 minutes which is way faster than waiting all the way 7 hour 15 minutes from going freshly cut tree to a half grown stage. That is the reason behind why guilds are only recommending their players to chop the trees till their stomp stage so they can grow faster and other players can benefit from these resources. You could also benefit from this tactic yourself as well because every single player have their own private trees located in the Terra Villa. To find them all you need to do is teleport to the Terra Villa. From here you will go all the way to the down of this village. And close to Jack and Jill's tavern, you will be able to find your own pixel trees. So the two trees located here are only choppable by you. So you can benefit from this stomp tactic. You will only chop them six times. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And as you can see, now both of them are in their stomp stage. Two hours, 30 minutes later, these stomps will become back to their half-grown stages where we could be able to repeat this process and generate more resources. Since now we learned about the tree growth cycle, let me show you a very cool tool which you can check the trees without teleporting any land. For that we are gonna go to the website called web 3 outscom In here they collect data on all the lands and they also show you the overview of the land. If you wanna navigate to a specific land you could use the land number to go from here. Or if you just wanna check some random lands you could walk right and left using the buttons here as well. In order to time the trees correctly we are gonna use this tool and walk around different lands. Whenever we see a change in any stage cycle of the trees, we will note the land and the time and break our calculators to calculate the exact time when these trees become half grown. To exemplify this, let's say in the land 1494, the trees just become small tree from freshly cut. 
And we note the time as 7 p.m. Based on our growth calculations, we know that it requires 7 hours for the small tree stage to become half grown. So at, so at 2 a.m., 7 hours later, these trees will become half grown. And we need to teleport to the land 1494, few minutes earlier than this time. So we can be the first one in there and complete the chopping and the gathering business. Another quick tip in here, if you find any tree in a public land, make sure you chop it all the way down because no one cares about the stone and their growth cycle so if you left it out another player will come and definitely cut it all the way down in the final part of this video i want to discuss the drop rates and different resources you can gather from forestry the resources you will get will depend on the your skill level of the forestry and also the stage of the tree you are cutting in any level you will get a soft wood either you chop a stomp half grown tree or full grown tree the greatest soft wood will drop from the full grown trees while half grown gives you 20 soft wood versus stomp will only give you 16 soft wood after you level up your forestry skill level to two you will start dropping hardwood and there is a 20 percent chance in either stages to get the six hardwood after the level five you will have a chance to drop sap from all of these stages with 5%. Among these, the most valuable item is of course the sap, but very, very difficult to drop and requires level five forestry skill. Let's do a quick math on how you can triple your yield gains from the first three business. If you are a private landowner, you can apply this tactic on your private land. And if you are a free to play player, you could also apply this tactic on the two trees that I have shown you previously. The math is simple in here. If you chop a tree from half grown to a stomp stage, it will require 2 hours 30 minutes for it to grow back and if we translate this into the chops per day this gives you around 10 chops per day which yields you close to 200 softwood for per tree plus the, some of the additional materials such as the hardwood and SAP you will learn from this. On the contrary if you chop your wood all the way down so you are going from half grown to a full chop you will wait for 7 hours 15 minutes for your trees to grow even though you will get 16 additional softwood from the stump cutting, this will translate into the 3.3 chops per day. And this translates into 120 softwood plus the other materials per tree per day. Among these tactics, the worst one is waiting till your trees are fully grown and then doing the full chop. This will require 14 hours 15 minutes for your trees to grow back into their full grown stage and yield you a total of 64 softwood per tree per day. From this quick math, you can see that you can triple your resource generation just by cutting your trees till they are stomped, waiting for them to grow back to their half grown stage in 2 hours 30 minutes and repeating this cycle as much as you can. I highly recommend you to follow this tactic on the two trees just specific for you in Terra Villa. If you come across a stomp, half grown or full grown tree in a public land, definitely cut it all the way because there is a very strong competition for these resources and someone will definitely come and cut it all the way if you don't do so one final tip before we end this video if you are not a guild member you can consider joining my guild crypto gaming family i own the land 3787 time the three growth cycles in this land and allow only guild members to enter in these times in order to prevent other players from chopping our trees for more information you can check out our discord and dashboard link in the description below all right crypto gaming family and this concludes our tree cutting business for more content like this, make sure you hit the like and give this video a boost. And you can subscribe and activate the bell while you are at it. Till next time, stay well, stay crypto and I will see you in the crypto gaming world.